Hello, my name is Walter and this is Glenn. We're the owners of CalMotion LLC and we're excited to tell you about our 527F CNC control, specially designed for Fadal CNC machining centers. This product has been in development for many years. We have the control running in many shops across the country. It supports AC machines, DC machines, any tool changer combination you have. It even supports fourth axis AC-DC or fifth axis AC-DC. A very easy implementation to upgrade your machine with the latest technology. CalMotion Control was designed to provide the best performance at the lowest price. And it's important to recognize that the total cost is more than just the purchase price. One needs to consider the installation, the training, and the possible modification of existing programs. And we've done everything possible to minimize those costs. having a lot of problems with uh, our program load times and uh, we found Kale Motion. The benefits definitely uh, were showing up. We had uh, quicker load times, quicker transfer of the file from the computer to the controller. There's a tremendous speed advantage when loading programs into the control over previous methods. The new control has Ethernet or USB to load programs into the machine. I'm going to show you how to do this over the network. On the left is my PC and the right is the control itself. I'm going to select Mold TXT here. I want to move this Mold TXT into the control. I drag and drop it into the control which loads in a couple seconds. It's a 2 meg file. I then go to the machine view the directory on the machine and select that program mold txt that I just moved from the PC. It also loads quickly into the editor of the control. You don't need to load it into the editor. You can run the file directly from the machine. I do this by selecting the directory again and the same file and just selecting three to run that program instead of loading it into the editor. It goes right into waiting and then I start running the program. Just the time saving in that has saved hours a day. It's been great, now we're adding it to the rest of our fidels. I work for Dryden Mold Services. We provide the automotive industry with plastic ejection tools for their dunnage and shipping containers. We currently have 12 Fidel CNC's in-house, and about six months ago we started upgrading to CalMotion Control. Here at TechPack we manufacture packaging for the consumer, electronics, and medical device companies. Currently we run Fidel's. We were being able to reach speeds of only 35 inches per minute, and what we were having trouble with is a lot of bumping of the machine and some inaccuracies. One of the greatest features of this control is to take existing programs and run contours faster and more precise. It does this with the advanced ramp control. Some of these features can be controlled globally in the set P parameters. We have the ramp control to control how crisp of a ramp you want. We also have a jerk factor which controls the rate of change of acceleration for your motion. Once you've set these, you can then, if your tool supports a higher feed rate, Edit your program, and in this case, we're going to edit the program from an F60 to an F120, and then run that contour. Immediately, we noticed a decrease in cycle time and an increase in finish quality. We can now rough at 300 inches a minute, where with the original Fidel control, we could only rough at 200 inches a minute, and we can hold tolerances of a thou at 100 inches a minute for finishing. So a tool build that would normally take four weeks now only takes three weeks, and it's a better finish than the original control. And we see that we have increased our speeds up to 75 to 100 inches per minute with about the same accuracy. We liked it so much, we decided that we would put it on one of our larger machines. This is typical of one of our parts that we would cut. And normally it would um, take about 11 hours to cut this part, and now we seem to have gotten it down to about five hours and 15 minutes. We have a Fidel 1986 DC machine. We're going to retrofit the CalMotion 527F on this machine. We will be removing the existing control. There will be a few cards we leave 
for the DC motors. One is the resolver board and the other is the mill interface card. Um, but the rest of the control, the axis cars and the main control will be removed and we'll be showing you that process now on this machine. The CalMotion 527F control uses the same S100 bus card design that Fidel used for its CNC control. The new cards have the same footprint and plug into the same slots as the cards that they functionally replace. The mill interface card and the clock card for DC machines are the only cards that remain in the control chassis. Additionally, the new control cards use the same connectors in the same position so that the existing wiring is left undisturbed. Neither the motors nor the amps need to be replaced. This reduces not only the time required to install the control, but eliminates the need for a highly skilled electrician to rewire the machine. Downtime is kept to a minimum during the conversion. The control supports both AC and DC machines, rotary, tilt rotary, glass scale feedback, probes, and all the tool changer types. Rigid tap is standard. Some new items need to be installed that were not part of the original control, such as USB and Ethernet connection. Both of these interfaces come with panel mount connectors for easy access to the control. The Ethernet connection is identified with an orange connector and is used with the orange Ethernet cable provided. The 527F can be configured as a static FTP site on a network and allows easy access to the 16 gigabytes of flash drive storage. Although the new access cards are plugged into the main card cage, they use only the power and ground connections. The access cards communicate with the main CPU through a high-speed data bus. This allows the main CPU to communicate to the access controllers much faster than the Fidel motherboard ever could. This new high-speed data bus is deterministic and ensures timestamp data is communicated across all axes. These connectors are identified with a blue cover and use the blue Cat5 cables. Each axis is controlled by its own DSP or digital signal processor. DSPs are hybrid microcontrollers with built-in math hardware functionality that allow it to complete complex mathematical operations in a single clock cycle. DSPs also have many built-in hardware peripherals ideally suited for motor control such as encoder feedback, ADD converters, and high-speed digital communications. The monochrome monitor here is going to need to be replaced so we can put in a color VGA display. 